Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez and today I am sharing another Christmas card so that we get ready for the holiday as it's soon approaching and I'm sure we're going to have to be making a lot of uh, Christmas cards and so this whole series had been really quick and simple cards for the Christmas. So this time I'm using a Christmas Pines. This is actually out of the annual catalog. It's not a brand new. I think it was from either one or two years ago, but I just love the fonts on this one. So definitely it's a great one to um, to use this year. So I'm gonna be using this one because I thought it it really goes very well with this image, with this design series paper that I'm gonna be using. And I'm also gonna be using this sentiment that says, may your Christmas sparkle with joy and happiness. Is that not really nice to say? So anyway, so I'm gonna go and uh, go over measurements as usual. So my car base is eight and a half by five and a half. And um, I'm gonna fold it in half, as usual. And um, I have a piece of real red, and as you can see, I already that I cut the um, scallop oval. And this one is four by five and one quarter. Yes, four by five and one quarter. And then I have a piece of design series paper from the All Is Right design series paper. Um, from stamping up and this one is out of the annual catalog and so this one is three and three quarters by five yeah let me check yeah three and three quarters by five so I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this piece of red to the design series paper since I know I won't be doing anything else to the design series paper and so let's just go ahead and center it and there you go and this one will go right here on the center or in the front of this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this section as well. Oh. And we're gonna go ahead and and um, I'm gonna go and do the stamping. And so this is gonna go for our card. So I'm going to be using Early Expresso for the sentiment. And um, ooh, let me lift my sleeve. And I'm using my pierce mat because um, I feel like I get a better image transfer when you're using photopolymer um, stamps. All right, so I'm going to have it like so. And you can see I'm more towards this section. Oh, and there was like a, there was like a little hair on my, you see that? That's fine, I'm okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use, um, the Mosi Meadow. And, um, and by the way, this is very vanilla, and I had already, um, I cut it. It's the largest of the ovals from the um, Stitch Shapes framelit. And you can see I'm going to put it like so. And maybe I. There we go. Stamp off and do another one here just so that it kind of fills up a little bit of that area. Okay. And that's all that is going to be stamped. Does that not look amazing? I think it is. And it goes really well with that design series paper. So this one will go like so here. So I'm going to go ahead and, yes, I think I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to go ahead and do this layer on my oval. And then here's the thing, I want to put a little bit of, like, something. And I want to just do a little banner here, just to have a little bit of that sparkle. And maybe I just do it on both ends. So, you can see this is a scrap of um, glimmer paper. I never, ever uh, throw it, even if it's not, if, even if there's a little bit thing, because I might just be hiding that section. Anyway, so I'm going to be using this punch. Oh probably should have done this earlier. Let me show you one trick while I'm doing this. Um, 
I'm going to show you a trick with post-its. I have a piece of post-it here. When you cannot go all the way through, you just use a post-it. And there we go. Oh, there we go. And the same thing with this one. I'm just going to put the sticky side and go from there. That way you can still go. And there we go. All right. That way you can still do it. And we're going to put it right here. You see, no one would ever, ever know, you know, that there was something going on with that. So I'm going to go ahead and this one I'm just going to go and put adhesive on both of them. Oh, oh my goodness, what am I doing here? All right, and so I want this one in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it like so. And the same thing with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. There we go. Now for this one, I wanna use dimensionals. And I'm running out of dimensionals as you can see. But you still can use all these pieces. So the never waste Never, never waste this part of your dimensionals. I've seen people throwing them away and, oh, it's like, what are you doing? It still has adhesive, you know? So always use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel everything. All right. And we're gonna put it right there in the center as we said. And the last thing to add, it's um, a little bit of these right rhinestones basic jewels. And I'm gonna use the um, take your pick tool. And I'm gonna put like a little bit of this on this um, three. And obviously you can put as little or as many as you want. I'm just gonna put about three. And there you have it. So here is another quick and easy card. And like I said, um, this is just for us to get ready, prepare all your cards. I know you have to do so many for this holiday and these are just to help you do as many really quick. So thank you so much. I'll list all the items that I use in the description of this video. And also don't forget to visit my blog at creatingwithelly.com. Yeah, I have an email list where you can sign up where I send tutorials like this one. Um, on your inbox. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye